We're here in East Gippsland working on streams and creeks because of the recent fires. The fires burnt a huge area and they burnt over most of the aquatic habitat in East Gippsland. There are a lot of threatened species that live in these streams and they've been impacted a little bit by the fires, but the critical punch is what happens after fire. By looking at this stream, you can see the devastation caused by a high rainfall event straight after a large fire. The banks are eroded and covered in sediment and ash. There's timber, there's dirty water. All of this chokes the fish. If a flood event occurred after fire and all aquatic animals uh, were killed, the main issue with some of these species is they will become extinct. So as an insurance policy, we're here to harvest a proportion of the population of each of these threatened species and take it out of harm's way to a special facility in Heidelberg that we have where we can then look after them. It's to care for the animals as if they were in the environment but importantly, if something happens to the ones that are left in the environment, if they're damaged or hurt or become extinct, we may be able to recover the species with the ones we have. The aquatic animals that we are targeting in these burnt Gippsland streams are fish, crayfish, and freshwater mussels. With the fish, the primary group are galaxids. They're small native freshwater fish. They don't have scales, so they're pretty much at risk to anything that changes in the water. Some of the key ones are the McDowell's Galaxid, the East Gippsland Galaxid, Shaw Galaxid and the Almy Galaxid. There are in total 11 species which unfortunately are in this fire footprint. There's a, about four species of the spiny crayfish. The Orbos spiny crayfish would be the most well known of those. And then we have three species of freshwater mussel. Most people don't know anything about them. They're too hard to see, they're buried. But the one we're particularly targeting is the depressed freshwater mussel. It's not depressed because it's sad. It's because it's quite squashed. A lot of these animals are very rare and very threatened. They're only found in very, very small sections of stream. If the worst case scenario happens, we can repopulate. If it doesn't happen, we haven't lost anything, we just bring those animals back. This project is part of Victoria's bushfire recovery response. The Department of Environment, Land, Water and Planning is leading that and we form partnerships with Parks Victoria, uh, whose estate has been massively impacted by these fires. Without the assistance of Parks Victoria, we wouldn't be here.